Hello everyone and welcome back to this Microsoft Dynamics 365 plugin development course. In this video we will see how you can debug plugins in an on-premise environment. In previous video we have seen what is tracing in Dynamics 365 for customer engagement apps. Let us now understand in this video how to debug a plugin in Dynamics 365. So there can be many chances whatever the plugin that you have written will not work the way you want it. So in those cases you need to debug that plugin. There are different ways you can debug a plugin on premise and online. So in this video, so I will just give you an information how you can step by step debug a plugin in uh, Dynamics 365 on premise version. But since I do not have any on premise server with me right now, I will not be able to show you practically how to debug a plugin on premise. But in next video where we will be talking about how to debug a plugin and online, I will show you practically step by step how you can debug an online plugins. So the first thing that you need to do in order to debug a plugin on premise is that you need to register and deploy the plugin assembly into disk mode. We have already seen that you can register a plugin assembly in either database, disk or gag file. In order to debug a plugin, change your plugin assembly location to disk and then you need to configure the debugger. So if your plugins is running in an online mode, then you need to attach w3wp.exe process in your Visual Studio on the server. Or if whenever, if you want to debug an offline plugin, then you need to attach your Visual Studio with microsoft.crm.application.hoster.exe process. If you want to debug an asynchronous plugin, then you need to attach it with CRM asynchronous service.exe process and for sandbox plugins you need to attach microsoft.crm.sandbox.worker process.exe in your Visual Studio code and then you can test and debug the plugin and then you can test and debug your plugins in your Visual Studio. I'll show you when we discuss more about debugging plugin in online mode. So having said that let's move on to the next topic that is how you can debug plugins on an online mode. 